Hello everyone, I'm Marge Lee, the volunteer resident curator for Tribby Art Center. And with me here today is Dottie Morrison from the Shell Point Photo Club. Welcome Dottie. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yes, happy and, to. And today we're talking about Sparkle. Right. Sparkle being the inaugural exhibition for Tribby Art Center. Yes. So I thought we could start with a few key facts. Uh-huh. Uh, Sparkle is a series of juried exhibitions. It will open in November 2020 and extend through 2021. So a whole year of, pretty of celebrations is very <laughs> exciting. Right. It is open to all Shell Point artists. Uh, and artists will apply online, which is what we're talking about yes, today. Yes. Uh, they can apply in 12 different categories, and up to five objects can be entered. Uh -huh. And also, they can apply in a collaborative category. So that's great fun. Lots of opportunities there. And all that information is in a packet. That is correct. And we have the packets here. So these packets are available at the service desk. Mm -hmm. Uh, throughout Shell Point, so all the artists who are interested should, should grab those packets. They're really important, lots of information. Lots of information, yeah. and yeah. one of the most important things we can say today is application is now open. Right. So artists should get going with that. Yeah. So it's one thing to create the art. Mm -hmm. It's quite another to take a photo of it and upload that onto the Juring website. Right, because the judges will be looking online Correct. at images of everyone's art. Correct. Yeah. So you're going to tell us all the help right. that the Photo Club is offering right. to help with that. Yes. So uh, one thing we're going to offer is if people will go ahead and use the information in the packet to register uh -huh. and get their portfolio set up, there's an artist biography, other things that they need to do, okay. then they can call Pam Blau, okay. who's part of our Photo Club, at 239 Eight five one five one five seven, and ask for an appointment. Now, Perfect. during the appointment, we're going to be taking photographs of their object in the photo studio where we have good lighting, we have infinity backgrounds, and so on. Okay. And then we will also help them with the uploading process, wow. which is a little bit complicated if someone's not used to wow. taking an image and uploading it. So why is this important, Dottie? Let's, let's talk about that. I'm, I think you have some examples to show I do. Us. So I brought an example of a wooden bowl. Okay. This is a bowl. Okay. I took this photo in my apartment. Uh, it's on a counter. You can see that the I had to take it at a funny angle to not get background in there, and I still got a little background. And uh, the background is a little bit um, distracting. Distracting. Here's okay. an example of what George Waters took in the studio. Wow. You can see that the background <laughs> is very even, the shadows are mm -hmm. appropriate, and it just highlights the art object uh -huh. in a better way. Which is the whole point. Exactly. Here's an example of a pottery vase. Ah. I took this picture on my piano, mm -hmm. which is a fairly plain background, but you can see the edges and the colors. And also look at the highlighting, how the sun coming in the window shines and has a highlighted part that isn't really great. Distracting. Exactly. Exactly. Here's the same vase. And George took this again in the studio with good lighting. And uh -huh. you can see that it just highlights the object and doesn't distract the eye of the judges. Quite a difference. Yeah. Now, for paintings, uh, Ray Galligan of the Painters Group is also offering to help people. If they bring it to the studio, mm -hmm. this particular item was actually in glass, ah, which is really tough. Which is tricky. We, we suggest painters um, photograph without the glass because it's only the mm -hmm. object, not the matting or the exactly. frame or anything. Exactly. But I tried to take this picture with glass with my cell phone. It was impossible. Yeah. George yeah. was able, unbelievably, to get the reflections out. It's amazing to me that he could do right. that. Now, here's the other thing not everybody thinks about. Mm -hmm. When you take a photo of something that is square or rectangular, mm -hmm. if you aren't exactly positioned dead center of the object and have it exactly in the parallel plane, mm -hmm. you get something called parallax error. Ah, which is? <laughs> that means that instead of something being straight, mm -hmm. it kind of looks angled at the top or the bottom. Ah. Now. Even if we can't quite get it exactly right when we take the camera, we can use the Photoshop, the Photoshop or Lightroom mm -hmm. to correct that before we upload it. So okay. we'll fix that. It just makes a better impression on a judge to only be looking at the art in the best way. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Yeah. So I've got my art photograph now, right. thanks to yes. the photo club. Yes. Uh -huh. What happens next? Okay, we can either give it back to them if they bring a flash drive and mm -hmm. they can do the rest of the uploading at home, mm -hmm. or if they want to and if they have all the information that Pam's going to tell them they need, such as the title of the objects, the measurements and so on before they come, mm -hmm that memory card will be handed off to one of two or three people that will be helping uh -huh. and we will upload it right there we will get the application in and before they leave wow. the studio they'll be all set to be part of Sparkle and the jurying effort. That is just fabulous. Yeah. That's a lot of help. Well, the Photo Club is committed to the Tribby Art Center and just supporting every artist, not just phot photographers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in showing everyone, the world, <laughs> how wonderful our artists are. Uh -huh. And if we can do anything to help that artist that's saying, well, I have a beautiful piece of art, but I don't know how to do all that computer right. stuff. I don't well, know how I to photograph it. it. I don't want to. Uh -huh. We we want those people to walk in our door and we Perfect. want them to make an appointment. It takes about, it's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour ah, if you have okay, five objects, okay. less if you only have one or two. Okay. But w the way we have it set up, uh, we're going to have volunteers working uh, a, lot of, a lot of hours, yeah. but it's, it's worth yeah. it. And that's very efficient. It's yeah. a very efficient way to do it. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. In fact, we even have days when they call Pam for an appointment. Some days are photography only, uh -huh. some days are small items, some days are large items, and for people who have a large hanging like a quilt, mm -hmm. we're doing them mm -hmm. all on one day with special frames. Oh, you really thought this through very well. We've Again, we're trying not to waste anyone's time oh, when they come in there. This is fabulous. This yeah. is fabulous. So, how, so I'm an artist. Yes. How, do I, how do I make an appointment? What so again, day? call Pam, Pam Blau, 239-8511. 5157 okay. and if you she doesn't answer leave a message and she'll call you back and you can get an appointment. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. So there you have it artist. There's lots of help available so there's no excuse for you not to join in all the fun. So thank you to Dottie yes. uh, and the Shell Point Photo Club for all the help. If you will look in the information packet you'll see there's other help available. So everyone get ready, get your art ready. Let's get out there and sparkle. I can't wait to and see. And the deadline. The deadline to apply is uh, February 14th. So be sure you get your artwork done. You get it photographed right. and get that application in. So thank you very much. We cannot wait to see what you're going to enter to sparkle when Trivia Art Center opens in November 2020.